grabar. Listo. Ok, so, today we're going to study model verbs, how to use them. And, um, well, you can use them according to the situation. If you want to talk about possibilities, ability, that's the best way to learn model verbs. So, I made this presentation on Canva. We're going to practice repetitions today, remember, three times. One slow, one normal, one fast. And with your microphones off, so we can practice at home. Just in case that you're not sure how to pronounce one of those words, you can ask me. Okay, I will ask one person at a time to practice pronunciation. So we can use model verbs to talk about ability. When you, okay. The model verbs uh, for ability is can. Yes. Yes, indeed. So model verbs oh, yeah. for ability. We have two. Uh, can can and you see that it's not an a uh, open a uh. it's not can no <laughs> it's can, can. like okay. between okay. a and e can so when we have the ability to do something we said i can or she can speak three languages and I want you to notice that you don't have to change the verb next to the model verb. You, you're gonna use this verb in infinitive all the time. So she can speak three languages. I can speak three languages, okay? So let's practice repetitions here. She can speak three languages. Now, if you want to say that you could, could do something in the past, but now in present, you cannot. <laughs> the past of this model verb is could, could. And you see that the L is mute, could. She could swim when she was seven. Now, she can't. She could swim when she was seven. Now she can't. Okay, let's see, Jose, can you help me repeating? Yes, teacher. This sentence? Yes. She, this sentence. she could swim when she was seven. No, she can't. Very good. Now, I'm going to tell you something and then I want to hear from you a, an experience similar. For example, I could, I could ride a bike when I was seven. Now, I can't. It's so difficult for me. Could you make an example now? Jose. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. I I could uh, buy buy bicycle, ride bicycle when she was five. And now I I can't. Okay, I want to you to make an example. I want you to make an example, but with you something that you could do in past and maybe you cannot in present. Mm. Repeat, teacher, please. Okay, I want you to make an example with something real in your life. Something that maybe you could do in past and now you cannot do it in present. Or mm. something you couldn't do in the past, but now you can. Mm. 
uh, in the past. Uh, is it clear? Yes. Uh, the, no. uh, the, the similar example uh, for me. Yes. Yes, yes exactly. Okay. Uh, I I could I could I could uh, play soccer uh, very very time. Um, when before before the pandemic and now i can't i can't play soccer very yes. good so i could play soccer many times before the pandemic situation now i can good that's good okay now let's talk about models of permission and we have three here uh can can i sit here oh i'm missing one letter here can i sit here <laughs> yes. you're asking for permission could you could you pass me the salt, please? And repeat three times. Slow, normal, and fast. Could you pass me the salt, please? Could you pass me the salt, please? Could you pass me the salt, please? And the third modal verb is may. May I borrow your book? So what's the difference between them? When you're asking for something, when you are asking for permission, mm, just maybe could is more polite and may also. That's the only difference between them. May, could, and can. Now, models. Mille, mille. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, but, but could is the past for the verb can't yes and in this sentence could uh, translate podría yes podrías podría. where is the difference uh, when uh, when i i use could the the past and, mm -hmm. and i use could the permission or or, or, or present or podría. Okay, so how do you know the difference mm -hmm. for the sentence? In this case, you know that you are requesting something. You are asking for permission because it's a question. And here you know that is something in past. You're talking about something in past because Maybe you're, you're giving more explanation. When I was seven, so in the past. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I use cool when the sentence is affirmative. But, uh, but when I, I a question, uh, may, may use cool. Yeah. When is uh, when is a question? Could is for permission, and when is in a sentence? Is it depends because you can also use could in another situation. Just the context. You just need to understand the context. I yeah. can okay. use could in a negative sentence. I can say I couldn't swim. I could not swim when I was seven. Now I can swim. So I can okay. create a negative sentence too. Okay. With could. Sam Mille. Okay. So Teacher. it's for permission Teacher. when it's in a question. Is Teacher. the uh, most uh, simple way to understand. Is a question? Is a question, asking for permission. If you want to give some advice, you use the model verb should. 
again, the L is mute. You should you should see the doctor if you're feeling sick. You should see the doctor if you're feeling sick. You should see the doctor if you're feeling sick. Faster. Obligation. We have two verbs, two modal verbs. Must. Must. Esta U va a sonar más como una A. Must. Y she must wear the seat belt while driving. She must. Is an obligation according to any rule, any law. And have to is the second model verb. They have to pay the rent every month. They have to pay the rent every month. So something interesting here is that if you want to say that um, you're not allowed to do something, you don't have the permission to do something, you said you must not. You must not. But if you use have to in a negative sentence, you don't have to. It's when you it's different. The meaning change is not an obligation. It's more like uh, you shouldn't feel feel uh, obligated to do this. For example. If I invite you to my party and you came with a present, I can say, oh, you didn't have to bring a present. It wasn't an obligation. Is that clear? So, so. So, so, teacher, so, so. Okay, I will try to explain this in, a, in, well, in Spanish. No, let's try to get this in English. So. Must and have to is for obligations. People must do that. You must wear the seatbelt. You must take off your shoes when you came to my house. I don't know, something like this. But there is the negative sentence. You must not tell lies in my home. You must not smoke in my home okay that's a rule you must not do that but if i say you don't have to or didn't have to is not a rule is not an obligation it's just when i want to express or say that you shouldn't feel obligated to do that action. Oh, you don't have to uh, call me, it's okay. You don't have to um, bring a present for class, it's okay. It's not an obligation. Is that clear now? Yes, teacher, yes. Eh, en Spanish, yes. has to is como un deber and, and must is obligation. Both are obligation. In positive sentence, both are obligations. But in negative sentence, have to is not an obligation. See? Okay, good. Yeah. Or prohibition. Sería, si es negativo, prohibition. You must not do this, you must. Okay, now modal verse for possibility. When we want to talk about possibilities, we can use might. Oh, they might come to the party. We can use may. She may buy a gift for you. 
Okay. Might, they might come to the party. May, she may buy a gift for you. And could, they could arrive anytime now. Possibilities, when you are not sure about what is going to happen. Could, might, may. And certainty or deduction. So we can use must when you are like 99% sure that uh, what you are saying is truth. For example, if your husband or wife came from work, uh, you, you could say, oh, you must be tired. You can guess that he is tired because he has work all day. Or if you are waiting for someone and someone is knocking at the door, you can say, oh, that must be my sister because I am waiting for my sister. You see? Certainty or deduction. When you are like 100% or 99% sure that is correct what you're trying to say. And when something is impossible, you use can. Again, deduction or for certainty. Like, oh, you have just eaten. You can't be hungry. It's like it's not possible that you are hungry because you just have eaten. Is that clear? Good, are we good? Okay, so I'm gonna cool. check the chat just in case. Okay, we're good. So I have an activity here, let's see. Let's check some conversations first. So I need two people, who wants to read? Can I read? Good. Natalia oh. and Martin. Okay. Okay, so Martin is going to be Jack and Natalia is going to be Tom. Okay. What are your most important? goals for the next five years. I would like to get a better job so we can rent a nicer house. I would also like to become a citizen. If you want to become a citizen, you must meet specific requirements. You should study American story and government. You mix, mix, have to wait a while before you quality, qualify, uh, for qualify. City, qualify for citizenship. Once for when you qualify, you must take a citizenship test. If you can pass the test and meet the other requirements, then you may become a citizen. Citizen. Very good. Might. So you see, we, we have many model verbs here. And I think I, I forgot to tell you about this one, would. So would is commonly used when you want to talk about what uh, would you like to do? <laughs> That's the way, when, when you want to say what do you prefer? I would like, I would prefer, I would, okay, I would. And um, you can also use would to make an offer. Would you like a glass of tea or a glass of water? Would you like, when you 
offer something. So we have must, you see, you must meet specific requirements. You must take a citizenship test. So it's an obligation if you want to become a citizen in United States, I guess. You must do that. You should, so this is like an advice. You should study before taking the test, of course, is an advice. And possibilities, you might have to wait. So it's possible that it's not so fast the process and you might have to wait for a while. Second conversation. Who wants to read? Anayansi? Anay. Uh, ha, who said Anay? <laughs> Leonor. Leonor, good. So Anayansi is going to be Uncle Joe. <laughs> and Leonor is going to be Susie. When will, when will you finish your school project? I can work really hard on it. I need to be done by Friday. Okay, remember might. Might. Es ahí suena a I. Might. Might be done by Friday. Can you type fairly well? I wish I could. But I can, I have to hit the case one at a time. So it takes me longer. Well, you should stay off Facebook until you get it done. If you don't work on it now, you probably won't be able to go to the zoo with us Saturday. Okay, very good. So we have again the model verse. I might, she is not sure if she could finish by Friday. I might be done by Friday. Uh, can, I forgot to underline that. Can. Can you, possibly, uh, ability, can you? I wish I could. The past could. Hmm. I wish I could, but I can't. And again, an advice. He is giving uh, some advice. Some advice. You should stay off Facebook. So now let's do this exercise. You have here the model verbs. And this conversation is asking about how to become a nurse. So we have couldn't, must, can, should, would, and again, can. Let's see. Jelixa. Which model would you use? Would you use in this sentence? Try to become a nurse. Do you think I could? I would. I would. Muy bien. Very good. I would. I would like. Would. I would <laughs> like to become a nurse. Do you think I could? I could. Very good. Can you continue? Mm -hmm. um, you, you must. You must talk to a counselor about going to the college. To college. Do you think it's an obligation if she doesn't she talk to a counselor? Oh, oh no, you can't. Yeah. Oh, you could, you could, you could talk. Permiso, o tú deberías de ver. Tú deberías. Oh, you should. Uh, oh, you should. Yes, is advice. Yes, it's an recommend. It's a recommendation or 
advice. You should talk to a counselor about going to college. Very good. Okay. Uh, which model? Here. Ken. Ken. Ken, very good. Ken. Can I take biology and math at the local community college? Of course you can. However, you must. You must. You must is an obligation. You must apply before you can study there. For today, for today, for today is activity para la actividad para actividad. For today. ¿Quién está hablando? <risa> Brush. Su silencio, no lo encuentro. Bueno, creo que ya se silencio. Ok, very good. Next model. Ok. Ken. Can I become a nurse by just working at a hospital? Okay, so this is like, not like if I can, ability is more like probability, couldn't? Couldn't I become Couldn't I become a nurse by just working at a hospital? Not here. If you want to be a registered nurse, you need to take nursing classes first, and then you must take and pass a, a state test. Then you... Can... 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 Can, can get you... Can nursing get license. Mm -hmm. Nursing license. Very good. Okay, any question? Hasta ahora, ¿cómo vamos? Vamos bien. Sí, bueno, vamos a llevar el ejercicio a un nivel un poquito más avanzado con esta. Estos son modals de deducción. Deducción, recuerden. Deducción. If I am sure about something, I use must. If, uh, if it's possible. If it is impossible, I use can. And if I am not so sure, like a 50%, I can use a could, my, or may. Might or may. But let's try to. Figure out, figure out this. Uh, voy a llamar uno por uno aquí. Empecemos con Indira. Hello. Um, that man. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, that man must must be team father. He looks you like him. Very good. Good to yeah. do. Okay. <laughs> Very good. You got it. <laughs> Karen Bernal. Karen Bernal? No, I I can cannot be it's to be. Aha, uh -huh. very good. 
It can't be. It's impossible. It's to be. Is that Susie's jacket? No, it can't be. It's to be. Okay, seguimos con Leonor. Perdón, una consulta. ¿La anterior estaba bien? Yes. Ah, porque como preguntó con eh, ma, eh, como dijo con más, usamos en la primera, pensé que la, que la respuesta negativa iba con el con el mustn't. Oh, but it's not a prohibition. It's just when you are making deductions. If it is possible or not. When you're sure that it is possible, you use must. And when you're sure that it's not possible, <laughs> you use can't. Okay? Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Leonor. Leonor. Maria Gabriela. Okay. I haven't seen Jeff today. Is, the, is he off sick? He, 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 can, he can't be. Can. I saw his car in the car park. Okay, so can or can't? He, he can. Eh, la, la letter B. Letter B. Are you sure? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. We can do yeah. that. Let's check. No, it's no, not. Okay. Letter C. Okay. Mm. What do you think? Mustn't or can't? Uh, I haven't seen Jeff today. Is he of sick? He let us see. He can't be. I saw his okay. car in the okay. car park. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now Vanessa. Hello, teacher. Okay. Hello, Vanessa. Uh, you? Hello, teacher. Tell me, uh, which look at the guy over there. He's only got at the chair on and it's five degrees. 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 What they mean degrees? Grados. Oh, okay. hablamos de temperatura. Five degrees. Thank you. He, he must be freezing. He must be freezing. Mm -hmm. Se debe estar congelando. Deducción. Very good, Vanessa. Vanessa, Thank ¿verdad? You, yes, Katia. Yes, okay. Um, you... Mm, you can be hungry again. You only use eating. Leather mm -hmm. A. Yes, can. I hear you. Laura Gutierrez. Very good, Katia. Laura. Hi. 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 I, I am starving. What's for diner, Moon? Fish. Dinner? Mm -hmm. I had fish. I'm not eating it. You can't be very hungry then. Can't? Very good. You can't be very hungry then. Yes. Okay, now Patricia. Hey, have you see Clara? She's gone for lunch. She 
she would. She would. Would. Let's see. Yeah. No. No, Patricia, it's not wood. What does it mean? Canteen? Neither be. A canteen. She must. Like the restaurant. She must be in the canteen. Oh. Yes. This is like the cafeteria, restaurant. <laughs> El lugar de, de ir a comer. Uh -huh. Ah, recuerda, would lo usamos más para cuando queremos hablar de preferencias que queremos o para ofrecer algo. Siguiente, Diego Gutiérrez. Diego. Eh, where is he? I am not sure. Eh, try her off. No, me escuché, Diego. Might, must, o can. Must. She must be in there. No, no, no. She is not sure. Must is when you are sure about something. I'm not sure. Try her office. She. ¿Cuál usamos para probabilidad? It might. 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 She might be uh -huh. in there. She might. Recuerden, el must es cuando ya estamos muy seguros de lo que vamos a decir. O de la conclusión que sacamos. Nidia. Eh, mire, one question uh -huh. eh, de um, en la anterior oración I can I can use can no puedes usar could por probabilidad she could okay. be in there she might be in there o she may probabilidades might, may, could Ok, ok, thank you. Es una probabilidad. Uh -huh. Nidia, ¿estás ahí? Sí. Se dice, ¿y qué más vi? Ok, it must. No, no, no. Está tan chiquitica eso. It. Pero no está seguro. I suppose, fíjate, está suponiendo. Entonces es. Is eh, must be perfume. No, yes. No, ya acabamos de intentar con must. Y es, no, recuerda que el más lo usamos cuando estamos muy seguros de que es esta cosa de la que estamos hablando. En este caso ella no está segura, ella está haciendo una suposición, ella está adivinando. I suppose, I guess. Entonces es... Sí, I can, I can, I can de perfume, I... Um... Suppose it's about the right. No, it's not can. Can. No, can is ability. Remember, could, could, probabilities. It could be perfume. Could, might, may. Probabilidades. Cuando no estás segura. Muy inseguro lo que estás diciendo. O sea, no estás 100% segura de lo que va, de que sea cierto tu deducción, acertado, de que sea acertado. Listo. ¿Viene Yelixa?
there's no one at the door. Uh, must. Very must. good. It's must be John. It must be. Ella está segura por qué? Bueno, porque él ya llamó y dijo que iba para la casa. Martín. Sí, a ver. Eh, eh, ¿eh? Eh, you couldn't be hungry. You haven't eaten since this morning. Are you sure? Ah, porque comí desde esta mañana. Mm. You haven't you eaten. You have, haven't eaten. Have, eh, have ah, no, no comió. No has comido. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, you, you could eat. You could. Ah, claro, te, esta es una seguridad. Uh, you must. Yeah, you must. You must. Está asegurando, claro. debes estar hambriento. Ajá. Sofía. Look what, what the line is the sky. Tengo dos, Sofía. It's no a star. <laughs> It's more. Okay, but it's in the same What the school is me? Okay, it's Indira oh. la que está hablando. Ah, oh. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, Sofía. Okay. Uh, look, what is... Uh, Uy, se pegó, Sofi. Lo siento, Sofi, no te escuché absolutamente nada. José, ¿me colabora? Villalba. Escucha. Look. What's the light in the sky? There's no star. It's moving. It, it, it could be a plan. Still, what else could it be? Could it be? Okay, so you said could. Could. It could be a plane, silly. What else could it be? Are you sure it could? Could it be the probability? Probability, uh, but when you're not sure, like 50%. Yes, 50%. Uh, right. Yes, yes, yes. And, and might is, might is the same, 50%. You're not sure. It must is when you are sure, like 99%. Uh, uh, so, so might, so might. Is a fifteen person? Yes. yes. Yeah. My. So my. No. Nope. Uh, yes. <laughs> could. Could. Ah, yeah. Could. No. Could works the same that might. <laughs> is the same. It's, it's similar. Could yes. and might. Yes. It's similar. Must. And must is okay. Is must. No. Yes, teacher. It must be a plane. What uh, else? Okay. What else could it be? Okay. Listo, Ana Jansi. Hi. Hi, Ana Jansi, this one. <laughs> okay. Whose bag is this? It must, it might, be Mike. It's, <laughs> it's on his his desk. No, Mike it or must, must. must must. It must be Mike. It's on his desk. Desk. Very good. It must. Good. Okay. Who else? 
María Gabriela. Okay. What kind of bird is that? I'm not sure. It uh, an eagle, but I can see it very well. I'm not sure it um, might be an eagle, but I can see it very well. Very good, might. Because okay. it's Thank not you. sure. I can't see. Very good. I can't see. And we finish. Teacher. Yeah. What is Mike? Mike. Mm -hmm. Yes. The translation. Yes. Please. Tal vez. Quizá. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, last one. I am worried about, about grandma. I tried to call her, but she's not answering her phone. She be out or she might be asleep. She sometimes has a nap in the afternoon. ¿Cuál es el modo del verbo? Must. 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 Are you sure? No, 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 I, no, no, may, um, may, 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 that's mm. correct, probability, sí, está ahí insegura, no ah, está segura, sí. fíjense que da muchas opciones, tal vez esto, tal vez esto, tal vez esto. possibilities, yes, okay, so, it's okay if I take five minutes or ten minutes from your time? Question, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, why and uh, not in it?